righty. A huge thank you to So Coaster Prep for filming for Amusement Insiders today at Carowinds. Um, we have some awesome information for you. So, yes, Rip Roaring Rapids, I think that's what it's called, is being removed. It's retiring. Um, they don't actually know if Copperhead Strike will be operating for Winterfest quite yet. Um, they're just waiting for confirmation from Mock and to see how the tests go in this colder weather um, and some various other things. So there's an interview at the end of this video uh, with the head of construction, I think is what is his position. Um, he's going to give you some really awesome information about when the test runs and POVs are going to be filmed. Um, so that's super exciting. And can I just say... Um, Carolyn's area looks beyond impressive. I'm blown away. This is amazing. Look at that area that you're going to buy your photo from. Like, that's sick. Like, I just love the way they, um, themed it. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm blown away. I don't think <laughs> Yukon Strikers area is going to have anything on this. Um, and I'm pretty biased for Yukon Striker. Um, that being said, I absolutely love that they were playing some atmospheric music while they were doing the tour. I hope they use that music in the actual Blue Ridge Junction area and this area as well. It's something I was asking even at uh, Canada's Wonderland. Are we going to see themed music in the area instead of like that top 40s music? I'm so done with that. I want to see this like, you know, themed music in these themed areas. I just think it's going to be amazing. Kind of like Frontier um, at Cedar Point. Um, that being said, everything's looking amazing. Everything looks like it's on track. I mean, this park's going to be starting its like media event and opening day in like a month now, I think exactly a month. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm actually going to be there. So I'm super excited about that. I think I'm falling in love with this project even more and more. Um, but yeah, again, thank you to So Coaster Pratt for filming today. You got some awesome shots. Thank you for doing that interview for us as well. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, I think we're going to have some even more video of some other aspects of the tour. Anyways, hopefully you really enjoyed this quick construction update on Copperhead Strike. Um, and stay tuned for the interview that is going to about to happen. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Hope you're having a great weekend, guys. Bye. Uh, hey, I'm Steve Jackson, Director of Construction and Maintenance here at Carowinds. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, ride commission and testing here a little bit. Um, the first thing that we did is uh, we put the train on the track and uh, we got the transfer track running, uh, moved the train into the station, checked the station dimensions out, um, made sure the control system was good in there, and then uh, last two days ago we rolled the train from the station into launch one. So what happens is the train just rolled out of, rolled out of the station, normal power, and just went through the JoJo roll and into launch one. Now that it's in launch one, we're actually testing the LSM systems. Uh, first, you check the alignment on all the magnets, make sure that you don't have an interference with anything, and then by doing, do the train manually by hand to do that. And then once all that looks good, then you start moving the train electrically. Uh, you start energizing the LSM slowly, one at a time, make sure that everything's going to work right, and then once once you make sure that all your LSMs are working, then you start increasing the power on them, actually moving the train around, and then. Uh, the next thing that they'll do is they'll, they'll continue to increase the power, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and they'll they'll keep they'll, they'll slide the train, they'll launch the train under low power, and then they'll continue to increase it until they get exactly the results they want. Once they're done there, then they'll actually launch the train out of launch one, they'll go to launch two, and they'll repeat that process in launch two. When they're done at launch two, then they'll launch it from there and it'll go back into the station. And at that point, we're ready to start uh, train operations under normal conditions. 